guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be telling you guys how I keep a tidy house or a clean house so if that's something you want to see then just stay tuned so the most important thing that I think you can do or develop is the one touch rule so I think that the biggest tip is to only touch something one time so don't move it, don't put it somewhere else. If you're gonna put something away, then immediately put it away. Like when I walk into my house, I immediately take my purse, walk it to my beauty room, and set it down right where it belongs. When I take off my shoes, I immediately take them off and put them on the shelf. There's no like kicking them off, setting my purse down right by the door when I walk in, and then having to move it into the kitchen later, and then eventually into my beauty room. It's just a fast, quick tip just to do it immediately and it's done and then you don't have to touch that piece again. Another tip that I try to live by is one in, one out. So if I get a new pair of shoes, I have to like that pair of shoes enough to get rid of another pair of shoes. So if all my cubbies are full and I see a brand new pair of tennis shoes that I love, they have to be worth giving up another pair of shoes to bring them into my home. Um, I got bad about, because I found a good deal, I would shop and buy clothes and shoes and whatever it is, but just because it's a good deal does not mean you need it. The same goes with my clothes. I have a certain amount of hangers. So if all my hangers are full, but I find a sweater I just have to have, I have to be willing to give up one other piece for that hanger. So I will not buy any more hangers. What I have is what I have. Now sometimes before a garage sale, I'll go through, clear out some clothes, and I have like 10 extra hangers. So I know when I go shopping, I can buy a few shirts to fill those hangers. But if my hangers are full and I go shopping, I know I have to love that piece enough to replace it with another. And it gets you thinking, and there's a lot of times I put stuff back because I love the pieces I have. The like third tip or another tip that I found very helpful is to declutter. The less items I have in my home, the less knickknacks, the less decor is the less that I have to clean or rearrange or find a home for. So I will not buy a piece for my house unless it has a home. If I can't think of a spot to put it in when I'm in the store, then I don't need it. <laughs> so, and if you've noticed in my house, I don't have a lot of shelving. I don't have a lot of place to put things. And I kind of like it that way. And then that means less like cleaning or less dusting or less rearranging. And I've just learned that the less I bring into this house, the less that I'm cleaning, which means less work, which means more time for my family. And so I just feel like decluttering my house has been so helpful and every item in your house should have a home. If there's something you cannot find a home for, it needs to go. If you love it, then you need to find something else that needs to go so that piece will have a home. If, if everything has a home, then people know where to put it and then things don't just get left out. So if you need a dedicated like bill section or if you need a dedicated shoe section, whatever it is, our jackets, when we walk in, we have our jackets where they hang and we each get one coat out that hangs by our garage door on the way out. Now we have more coats and they're in our closets, but I do have that perfect little area. So when you walk in, you hang up your jacket, it doesn't get thrown on the ground. So if you put these different tips in place, then before you know it, you kind of have a tidy house all on its own and you're not doing much work. So my very last tip is to clean up or tidy up right before bed. So before bed, I make sure the dishes are in the dishwasher, it's running, so the sink's clean, the kitchen's clean, everything's been put away. My daughter knows at the end of the day, toys, everything go back into her room, they go back where they belong. I wipe down the counters, I vacuum all my floors before I go to bed, and it does. It takes like 10, 15 minutes max, probably just 10 minutes, but then I wake up to a fresh house and it's ready to go. I'm not stressed. I can tackle whatever I need to do for the day and not start worrying about cleaning. So it really is smart to clean up at night. And I get it guys, you're tired at night, I am too. But if you'll just take five or 10 minutes and clean up, I promise you it is so worth it. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little tips on how I keep a clean house. It's what works for me. You guys may find something different. If you guys have a tip that helps you, just leave it down in the comments. I'm sure um, other people would love to read it and I would love to read it. It may be something that I need to do. Um, I'm having so much fun, you guys, with YouTube. My channel just keeps growing and I think it's amazing. I love you guys. Um, I hope you keep watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the button down below. And if you're not following me on Instagram, please click that button and come hang out with me over there. I post daily over there, so I'm a little bit more active. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!